Hello learners, this is Self Tuts and we are on our journey for learning Vim. In this video tutorial, we will learn about installing Vim and understand how Vim works. So there may be case that some Linux system are bare bones that have minimum installation and they do not contain Vim. So we should know how to install Vim. Vim can be installed using the package manager yum. So if the Linux system has a flavor of Red Hat or CentOS, then we have by default yum present in it. So yum is a package manager from where we can download and we can install our packages. So vim is a package present inside the package manager and to install it, we'll just use yum install vim. So first we'll try to go inside our Linux system and this is my Linux system and first I'll see that if vim is present or not. So if I type vim, then it says no such file or directory is present. It means that vim is not installed inside the system. Since I'm the vagrant user, which means I'm not a root user. So if I have to install something through vim, I should have a permission of root. So I'll just use sudo, which means please give me the permission of root user or sudo user and please install vim so the following line says please give me the permission of root user and install vim using the yum package manager so i'll just use this and type enter so it will go to the repositories and try to search for a package for vim and it says that package vim in vim enhance is present and it should be installed it says the size is 2.2 and it is asking me that should I install it, it or not. So I'll say yes and this will download the package and this will install it. So this time if I type vim minus minus vim then it will open my vim terminal and it says that the version of vim installed is 7.4. In the future tutorials we'll install some plugin which has a dependency on vim 7.4 version. So I'll recommend that if you are installing vim then please try to install vim which has a version greater than 7.4 so i'll come out of this vim by using shift colon and q we'll learn about these commands so this is my way how to install vim inside my linux box so when we install vim inside our system then we'll try to use it so when we when vim when we try to use vim then it depends upon two important thing the first thing is the dot vimrc file this tilde sign with a slash says that it is your home directory so every user in linux machine has its own home directory like this is my home directory or this is the home directory of the vagrant where this tilde sign says i am inside my home directory so to go inside a home directory, suppose I do a ls here, means list the file, I go inside to do app. So if I'll see pwd, it says home vagrant to do. So this path home vagrant is my home folder path and at present I'm inside my to do folder. So if I want to go to my home path, so I can directly type cd and I can press enter or I can type cd and then this tilde sign and enter. So it will take me to the home file. So if I present working directory so it will say home vagrant so vim rc file is present inside my home directory so this slash tilde slash sign so the home path of my user so vim basically depends upon this vim rc file for all the configuration every every configuration that vim uses for changing the behavior of the vim is written inside this vimrc file and the another thing on which vim depends upon is the dot vim folder which is also present inside the home directory of the user so vimrc is a single file which contains the settings related to vim and dot vim is a folder which is present inside the home directory and it contains all the files and plugins and repositories and color scheme everything which is being used by vim so i i will declare a setting inside the vimrc file and if that setting uses some other file then those file will be present inside my dot vim folder so 
when vim start or when you type vim in your command line it tries to search for a vimrc file inside your home directory and then loads the setting based on it so if i'll go to my home directory so these are the files that are starting with dot uh, sign so in linux if something starting if something starting with a dot it means it is a hidden file so if i'll go inside my home directory so i'll just type cd so i'm inside my home directory and if i'll type ls it will show only me three things one is the to do app folder and the self starts folder and another is the parse down.php but if i say ls minus la where ace says please show me all the hidden file also so it shows me all those files which are hidden like bash history bash logout bash profile and other files are also there so everything that is starting with dot is a hidden file so if you install vim for the first time there may be the case that dot vimrc file and dot vim folder may or may not be present so if it is not present it will not hamper anything for uh, in in the process of starting your vim but if you want to apply some configuration to your vim then you must have vimrc file and if you are using some plugin then you must have dot vim folder so if there is no vimrc file then there is no issue your vim will work fine you can do your text editing there but if you want to do some configuration you have to create a vimrc file if it is not present there so we'll try to add some configuration to our vim and see suppose first we'll see a file which is here so we can see a parse down.php file is there so this is a sample file and we can open it by using vim parse down so if you say vim parse down.php it will try to open this parse down.php file inside my vim text editor i'll say enter and it will take it will show me all the contents of this file by default i think in 7.4 syntax highlighting is present so you can see this beautiful syntax highlighting present inside this file it is a php file so it is vim is automatically doing the syntax highlighting so you can see the magic of vim based on the file type it will show the syntax highlighting for that kind of file but if you see here in this file then you will find that no line numbers are present suppose we want to go to some line 5 or line 6 or 7 how to go there and how to see if if i'll go here say suppose here a uh, function i can't say which line is this i have to count from top and then again uh, i have to see 1 2 3 i have to count so if i want to activate the line number feature in my vim i have to do some configuration and for that configuration i have to do what i have to use this set number flag inside my vimrc file so i'll quit this and i'll see ls minus la since there is no vimrc file i'll try to create a file vimrc file and i'll say set number at present you may not be able to see this set correctly i'll just increase the font size you may or may not be able to see this set correctly because we have not activated the color scheme feature of vim so after activating the color scheme feature we will be able to see the color of this text correctly so i have just shown you that how to put a setting inside our vimrc file and we'll exit the vim we'll exit this file by using shift colon and write and quit so it says it is a command and it says please write and quit means or write all the changes that i have done to this file and i'll press enter so it will write this file this time i'll open vim parse down.php and you can see line number is present so just by setting a single line of set number i can see line numbers are present 1 2 3 5 4 6 means you can just activate the line number and if we remove that line from our vimrc file then it will remove that it will remove the line number so i'll quit it so i'll for quitting i'll use shift colon and then q because i have not done any changes so i don't want to write anything to my file parse down.php so if i'll again open my vimrc file so inside my vimrc file 
this set number is set and by using this configuration vim is showing line number so you can do configuration in this way there are other configurations like syntax on by default vim is vim 7.4 is present is providing syntax on feature so you can see this nice color and highlighting of the syntax i will try to do the syntax off by going to dot vimrc file and i'll say syn syntax off so you can see i have written syntax and off so upon writing this configuration on my vimrc file when i'll try to open my file vimrc so i'm opening this file so vim will go to my home folder and try to search for a vimrc file and uh, if a vimrc dot vimrc file is found then it will load all the configuration since at present i have added a configuration that the syntax should be off so if i'll open it you can see there is no highlighting there and there is no color so vim reads my file dot vimrc file and applies that the user is saying me that no syntax highlighting should be done but i think this is not a good feature so we'll again remove it vimrc and we'll remove this syntax highlighting feature and we'll save the file by using shift colon w q because we have changed something so we are writing it and if i open parse down you can again see that the syntax highlighting is present another uh, configuration is set backspace to in some version of vim uh, there is a uh, unknown behavior of backspace so we want to explicitly set the backspace value so we do set backspace equal to 2 so if you find any uh, unwanted behavior while using backspace in your vim please provide this setting of set backspace equal to 2 in your dot vimrc file so i think that you must have learned till now that what is vimrc file what is dot vim folder we'll see when we use plugin so this is all about for this video if you like my channel please subscribe to it if you like this video please give a thumbs up thank you